So there are two kinds of reports which are facing like this, right? This is the one, right? This is the one thing, right? Hello? Hello, Mr. Murthy? Hello? Mr. Murthy, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, fine. So I'm just recording it also. So this is this is one report. Right? This is all coming from ledgers. I have tampered with the data. I won't show any data here. Correct. So what you do is in order to make this go to your Power BI module. And this is your matrix report. Correct. Okay. In your column, pick up from the year. So this is your fiscal year. In your Okay. In your column. Correct. Correct. And fiscal year this fiscal is one column. is here. Oh. Fiscal year fiscal, fiscal, year, fiscal okay. month is an object will have to be changed. Right. So this will have to be April, May, June. So we'll have to just put a case statement here or put a fiscal month here instead of this. Okay. All right, so I can also sure. month here. Yeah. Then I go down to my ledger details. Correct. And now what he is asking is sales. So I put sales in the value. Is it correct? Yes. Then he says I want. No, no, Purchase. this actually have to be a list report because this okay. will be a filter parameter for you. This will be a list report. So I'll change this into something like this. Just wait. Yeah. It's yeah. Right? This, this report need not be then purchase direct expense, indirect expense. Okay. Yeah, so this is purchase direct expense. direct expense, indirect expense, direct expense. You have to simply pick it up because I've already pre coded that logic here. Okay, is it clear now? Here, yeah, what I would suggest is that add a okay. filter so this 2019 20 because you're having too many Excel reports. It is very difficult okay. to maintain. It's very simple. You simply yeah. add a, you add a filter for the fiscal year. Understood. If this you can do. Yeah. Right. You can choose yeah. fiscal year, whatever whatever way you need. Okay. So, so I think this is a list report to me. So this I've shown you how to do it. Yeah. This is one. Now, this yeah. one is slightly tricky. That means quarter year 20, this will be a filter. Quarter is the column. Okay. And sales purchase comes here. Okay. So one way, because he's looking at it differently. He's saying measures are now in the rows. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, one minute. One minute. One minute. Hello? No, one minute, one minute, just hold on. Okay, tell me. So here, there are two ways of going about it. What, because this is, that means row into columns and columns into rows. So the easiest I could get was, If rows into columns and columns into rows, right? Yes. Measures. Transpose. We need to transpose. Yeah, transpose or what you would do is you will do a union. You know how to do the transpose? 
but transport will be done in the view right yes okay i'll show you how to do this what i could understand from it right what i would do is i will make a report i will go to my profit and loss okay i'll copy this natural 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 lena ga ye nahi karenge na just one second so i will do it through some dax here just one second but there's no company here right so what we have here is this date so just do it the way i am doing it because that might be an easier way of doing it okay so what you do is in ledger view you add a new column okay based on the date dimension clear yeah So just do you it. I'm. I'll be sending you the recording. So this is sample data. So none of your data is coming into picture. I'm just showing you the yeah. approach. Okay, how to do this? Yeah, yeah, I understand. So I will put yeah. in say fiscal year, fiscal quarter here in this ledger, right? Okay. so i will add this column called fiscal year and just do it the way i am doing it here at your end so var a is equal to document date Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Alt Enter. Then this one way I wanted to take more time because in Zoom it takes a lot of time. So the way I you I would do it is. fiscal year is equal to var a is equal to document date yeah ledger underscore view document date right here again correct correct then press alt enter again var b is equal to calculate i'm calculating the minimum okay minimum get to max on the right no just do it the way i'm doing it date go to date dimension and in date dimension you pick up the you need to calculate fiscal year right fiscal yes. year fiscal month right let's assume you take a fiscal year fiscal month okay so calculate so you say var b is equal to calculate minimum of date of the support dimension is this in correct fiscal year yeah, fiscal underscore fiscal month. month 
filter all. Okay. Then the state underscore dimension. Correct. Where date is equal to A. Alt enter, enter return B. So this is going to give you the fiscal year and fiscal month. Is it clear? Yeah. Right. So I'm just making it up so that you do this thing. Then fiscal year is equal to the same logic. Now just replicate it the same as I'm doing. So here you'll pick a fiscal year. Okay. Right. Then I press enter. So I've got these two columns. Now what you will do is to create a table in DAX and in that table you will say because I am now grouping it by that, right? So table yes. underscore aggregate is equal to bar A is equal to select columns from ledger underscore view. Correct. Now this is going to be fiscal year. So this is going to be fiscal year from here. From the ledger view. Then fiscal year comma fiscal month. Right. That is going to be fiscal year, fiscal month. That column you will pick up. Is it clear? Yes. Then you will say sales. So this is going to be equal to calculate sum of sales. Correct. All except from ledger underscore view by fiscal underscore year comma fiscal underscore month. Are you getting it? Yeah. Then where B is equal to now I'm going to be picking up the same thing here but here it's going no, to purchase. be purchase. purchase. It's a union operation. This is a tricky report. This is some DAX code which you'll have to write. Is it clear? Yeah, we are also in the Then I'll do the third one. And da, 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 then I'll go to it. And then you're going to return union of A comma B. That's what it is. So okay. then you'll get the data in this format. So this is quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Achha, but you'll, I think you'll have to add an index also. So you'll, I think you have to add an index one, two, three, four. So you'll have to order by that. So what you will have to do is, I think you'll have to add an index. So here, you'll have to add an index one. Put it as zero one. Right? But this is slightly tricky. So, you purchase one, this will be purchase, right? This is slightly tricky. Aise hoga na? Correct? Correct. Then 
then you do a union. So then if you put it, put this onto the column, still it will work because you order it by one, two, three, four, five, six. Purchase sales. Yeah, understood. Yeah, understood. So this is slightly tricky. Oh, and, uh, yeah, for the year report alone, we have to create from uh, uh, for quarter, right? Right. This is not an easy report. I mean, this is slightly because I have to do a pivot here. Otherwise, you can do it in SQL Server and then do it. You also have SQL Server, yeah. you have to get up from there. Yeah, we can create a view there and we can write. Yeah, you can create a view from there and you can also do it. But if you want to do it in DAX, then you can do it here. I would say calculate fiscal year, fiscal month. Filter all state. where A is equal to date. Alt enter return B. So the I'll use row level and filter level context and it is done. So extensively use row level and filter level context here. My machine is going slow because it's Zoom recording. Okay. Okay, sir. Have you got the approach? Yeah, I understood. This is saying a circular dependency was depicted. Yeah. And make it as a measure. If it's a circular dependency, then how will you do this? Just one second. But then you can't pick it up from there. No? Ah, yeah, sure. Sir, I'll tell you a, if this is a problem, then I do it this way. Okay. Do you think a table one do? This particular report kill you. So basically, it will be a table we'll create. Table is equal to select columns. Correct. From date underscore dimension. Then you say document underscore date comma format document underscore date in format of YYY 
mm td correct this is one then you pick up fiscal underscore year you pick up fiscal year from there then you pick up fiscal year fiscal month uh, then you pick up fiscal year underscore yes. fiscal month so this is from the date dimension you have picked up so is equal to var a uh, is equal to this var b uh, equal to select columns and then you pick it up from ledger underscore view and there you pick up the document date you also format it in the same way and then you do a join so this intermediate table will have both their columns are you understanding from where i'm coming yeah so keep the name the same uh, ledger underscore view document date and then you pick up so you need to do it right sales right so it is going to be calculate sum of sales All except, so this is slightly tricky i'll have to i'm sorry about this but this is not easy this is not easy at this level of hierarchy then var c is equal to natural inner join a comma b so you will get these two join the fiscal year fiscal month and this is sum of sales because if there is a circular dependency you cannot proceed forward very much so is it clear Yeah. So give me some time. I've got a, I've got a demo. I'll have to finish that demo and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, sure. I'll be. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because uh, this thing. Okay.